Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will discuss uterus ultrasound normal and abnormal appearances. We have two views, the longitudinal view and the transverse view. In the longitudinal view, we see the most detail, the three layers of the uterus. The endometrium is the innermost layer and the myometrium is the thick muscular middle layer and the perimetrium is the outermost layer of the uterus. The top portion of the uterus is called fundus and the lower end where it ends in junction with the vagina, this junction is called the cervix. And in the transverse view, this is the appearance of the uterus below, below the bladder. In the transvaginal view, we see a more detailed information of the uterus. We can see a zoomed in view giving us more detail like the endometrium is seen more clearly and this is the fundus on the top portion and the cervix on the bottom portion and also the myometrium is seen very clearly. Endometritis is the inflammation of the endometrium. We can notice the difference in the appearance of the endometrium. It is more thickened. It has fluid collections giving it a more heterogeneous appearance. We must correlate the symptoms as well to rule out other diseases of the uterus. Endometrial fluid collections can result from a variety of causes and it has like three different types of fluids. One is the simple fluid which will be anechoic, completely black in appearance. Then we have the hemorrhagic fluid which can have internal echoes due to clotted blood and blood products. We can also have pus collection due to infections which will also give like internal echoes and septations giving it a heterogeneous fluid collection. Endometrial polyps are benign nodular overgrowths of the endometrium and they appear as rounded polypoid mass inside the endometrial canal. They appear as homogeneous and echogenic lesions inside the endometrial canal and we can see that it has fluid collection as well so they are also associated with fluid collections. Endometrial carcinoma is the malignant condition of the endometrium. It gives us a heterogeneous appearance with thickened endometrium showing irregularities in its texture. Another important feature of endometrial carcinoma is the disruption of subendometrial halo. This halo is present in the innermost layer of the myometrium, which is right behind the endometrium, this hypoechoic area. This is the subendometrial halo. In carcinoma, endometrial carcinoma, if there is disruption of this subendometrial halo, it leads to myometrial involvement, means the carcinoma has reached the myometrium. Endometrial hyperplasia is the abnormal thickening of the endometrial glands, which will lead to endometrial thickening. In premenopausal women, if the thickening exceeds 15 millimeters, it is considered endometrial hyperplasia. And in postmenopausal women, if the thickening exceeds 8 millimeters, it is also considered as endometrial hyperplasia. Uterine fibroids, also known as leomyomas, are benign tumors of the uterus. They are divided into different types based on their location within the uterus. The most common type is the intramural fibroid. This fibroid is present in the myometrium of the uterus. It mostly appears as hypoechoic, but it can also be isoechoic or hyperechoic. The subserosal fibroid, 
will protrude out of the uterus. It will also give a hypoechoic appearance most of the time. The submucosal fibroid will involve the endometrium, but if it's large enough, it can also involve the myometrium. Pedunculated fibroid is also present in the endometrial canal, but it is connected to the endometrium by a stalk. We can see the blood flow within the stalk on the Doppler scan, and this one has some calcifications which is giving posterior acoustic shadowing. Adenomyosis is the presence of endometrial tissue within the myometrium. It consists of this typical appearance called the Venetian blind pattern, which has alternate bright and dark bands. That's why it's called the Venetian blind pattern, because of the alternate bright and dark regions, dark bands, present in the myometrial area. It can also have cystic striations as well as irregular endometrial and myometrial junction. Myometrial cysts and subendometrial cysts can also be seen and the usual heterogeneous texture can also be appreciated in adenomyosis. Lipoleomyoma is a benign fat-containing tumor of the uterus. It is hyperechoic due to fat.